What are we to make of that extraordinary verdict with the so-called Colston Four in Bristol yesterday, where the protesters and, of course, alleged vandals who defaced, toppled, dragged a statue through Bristol and threw it in the drink in Bristol Harbour were cleared? This is the most extraordinary decision. And while some newspaper commentators are perhaps running away with themselves, and some politicians actually, suggesting this is a licence to vandalise monuments, while it might not quite be that, what does it say of law and order? Because I tell you what, some people don't like Winston Churchill. They see him as a terrorist or a racist. Well, if you apply this, as long as you're doing it for supposedly valid reasons, you're trying to rewrite history, expose Britain's sordid and tawdry colonial past, let's all go down to Parliament Square. Let's daub that statue of Winston Churchill, you know, the famous one with him leaning on a cane. Let's topple it in Parliament Green. Let's dance on it, kick it, punch it, do whatever you want to do with it. Drag it down to the Thames. It's not very far. It won't take that long with a few ropes and half a dozen loats and blokes and women. And just throw Winston Churchill's statue into the Thames. Because all we're doing, all we're doing is rewriting, is putting right a wrong. Some people, even as we speak, even as we speak, there's a row going on about Kew Gardens. Sir Joseph Banks, the botanist and founder of Kew Gardens, according to English Heritage, was an enabler of slavery. OK, well, we go to Kew Gardens, dig it up, smash the greenhouses. I don't know if there's a statue to Sir Joseph Banks in the Kew Gardens. I've absolutely no idea. But if there is, let's smash that to pieces. W why not? Why not? Because, again, we are putting right and historical wrong in the eyes of people. So we can smash the greenhouses, the conservatories of Kew Gardens to pieces. Nelson Mandela. Some people see, some people see Nelson Mandela for his part. Oh no, can you imagine the outrage if someone so much as took some nail varnish to a statue of Nelson Mandela, let alone spray paint? My friends, they used to say that the law is an ass. It's not an ass. Today it emerges a flared nos nostril, hurdle-clearing, thoroughbred Grand National winner. And I wonder where it leaves us.